Hey guys, welcome to another Dross World Live video, and today we're going to go over next week's events. So we got the event schedule here. So the theme is debuff plus fierce. The event, the featured dinos are debuff, and then the strike theme is fierce. So let's go over them. So Monday to Wednesday, let's going over the featured creatures first. Monday to Wednesday, we got 27 attempts on three different commons, Diplocalus, um, Monolophosaurus Gen 2, and Segasaurus. So, among these three, Segasaurus is a pretty good catch, uh, just because of... It, it makes Segaceratops, which makes the Mono Segasop, which is one of the best items in the game at the moment. I would say probably top 7, top 8. So, you would probably want to go for that, unless you already have a lot of Segasaurus and don't have enough of Mono uh, Monolophosaurus, like most other people do. <laughs> or Triceratops, like a small number of people do. Usually, you know, usually people aren't really short on the commons on these. Anyways, moving on to the rares Wednesday to Friday, we got, wow, five rares, 30 attempts, classic debuff week. So, among these rares, we got Diplo Gen 2, Cool Gen 2, Proceratosaurus, Tejangosaurus, Wurrosaurus. I remember back in the day when we had like debuff week, it was like an easy Tejangosaurus since like all the other four didn't have hybrids, but now all of them have hybrids, so it's pretty cool to see the game evolve like that. But anyways, Tejangosaurus is obviously still a really, really viable option. Deorogosaur is top three dinos in the game. So you probably want to get a decent amount of Django DNA. Warsers is fine too. Carnotarchus is also a top tier dino. Diplogen 2 makes the new Diplovenator, which is not terrible. Cooler Gen 2 makes uh Cooler Bourgiana, but if you're going for Gemini Titan, Cooler Gen 2 would be your last concern. So probably not go for Cooler Gen 2. Prostratosaurus makes Prostratomimus, which is absolutely busted. And if it ever gets hybrid in the future, it will be double busted, so that would be cool as well. Moving on to Saturday and Sunday, six attempts on two dinos here, two epics. So you got Kulosuchus and Kentrosaurus. This one's an easy one, Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus makes Enkentra, which makes Trico, which is another absolutely top tier dino. And Kulosuchus makes Skulosaurus, which is basically fodder. It's one of the worst legendaries in the game. Uh, moving on to the strike events. So on Monday, we got a common strike. It's a one step small common and a five step large common for two days. And then you also got your first sense strike and then also a. I forgot what it was called. I just opened one like three minutes ago. <laughs> it, was, it was a treasure chase, a 15 minute one. And then. So basically, throughout the week, you'll have treasure chases. I'll just go over the treasure chases real fast. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday is a 15 minute one, and then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is a regular one. So yeah, anyways, back to strike events. Tuesday, you got a one step standard fierce strike event, and then a seven step rare uh, fierce strike event that goes on for three days. And then Tuesday, you also got a three step sand strike, which I can't really see what that is, but it looks like a raptor's, raptor's scent, so it's probably gonna be a raptor scent strike event, which is not terrible, especially if you're going for it. Indo indoor after, but like for anything else, it's not really that useful. Um, I mean, I guess you could go for a really small chance for Pyraptor. Utharaptor is not bad, but then again, Utharaptor is really easy to find anyway, so. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, you got a one-step small incubator, and then you got a one-step epic uh, this is just a regular epic strike, just a regular old-fashioned boss strike that we haven't had in a while. And then also a one-step speed strike. Moving on to Thursday, we got a three-step standard uh, strike event and then a one-step sense strike as well. This, that's your second one. Friday, you got a one-step standard strike event, fierce, and then a one-step Baryonyx-themed epic strike event. So oh, that should be interesting. So that's two regular strike events so far next week. Saturday, you got a three-step um, standard strike event, a five-step large common, and then a five-step rare for two days. Uh, the, the other five-step large common is also for two days. And then Sunday ended off with a small common strike event and a three-step epic strike event themed. So that would be our themed epic strike event for the week. So in total, we're getting like three epic strike events 
and then a special themed scent and like a full week of treasure chases we still got our regular stuff so next week's going to be a pretty eventful week. The three epic uh, strike events will do for most of that. But uh, yeah, next week's going to be pretty fun. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think of next week's events down below in the comments. Like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.